Hello, my name's Stephen Knight. Welcome to this short tutorial on searching in SharePoint. Now, one of the big benefits of putting your documents and files in SharePoint libraries versus on network drives is the very powerful search feature that comes built into SharePoint, standard feature. We're going to concentrate on the basic search today and you'll notice right here in front of us on the center of the screen I've got a web part with the basic search. The standard search box lives up here on the top right but what uh, the literature is very much saying is to make the search a really obvious feature in SharePoint so on this page I've stuck it right in the middle. If I scroll down you'll see the advanced search which is also available that's a topic we'll get into in another tutorial. We'll concentrate on the, the basic search, which is quite powerful in its own right. Now, the basic search has scopes. So at the moment, the scope is set to all sites. Or what I'm going to do in this case, I want to narrow the focus. So I'm going to say, search just this site, which is our sales team demo site for Dodgy Brothers Sales. Now, uh, and you'll notice out to the right, the, the president, founder, and head salesman of, of Dodgy Brothers Sales. Now, we're going to do our search here, so we've set the scope. Depending on where you are with the search box, you may see more search scopes where it might offer to search a list or the current library that you might be on. And also, your site administrator can add uh, more search scopes for you. So we're just going to put in a, fr a word or a phrase here. Now, one of the nice things about this is it doesn't just look in the titles. It also reads the uh, contents of the file as well, if it's a common Office format file. I'm now going to click the search button. And it's done a search for me just within the current sales team site because that was our scope you'll notice we've got word and excel documents you'll also notice uh, it has in a number of places here highlighted the actual term so you'll notice i've even got a task at the bottom there where it's uh, found the word budget in a task so it's not just searching uh, libraries and documents you're going to find uh, calendar events tasks, issues, whatever you might need. So uh, now on the left hand side here we have the refiners. Now this is a new feature with 2010, very nice feature with 2010. Uh, so if I'm just looking for Word documents I can just click Word. If I'm just looking for documents by a particular author or created within a particular time span it gives me the appropriate choices. and the date ones in particular are dynamic so the options you'll see here for modified date will vary depending on the date range of the search results similarly file types for example you'll notice i'm not seeing any powerpoint files in the refiner uh I'm not seeing powerpoint as a refiner type because there aren't any powerpoint files in the results if i now click word it narrows the search results and I'm now just seeing Word documents and there's my Word document. And I could then view that document. Now this functionality is available in SharePoint 2010 Foundation upwards, so Foundation Standard Enterprise. Also, if you're working with Office 365 and SharePoint Online, this is in SharePoint Online as well. For those of you who are working with the on-premise versions of SharePoint, that is Foundation, Standard and Enterprise, if you talk to your site admins, just ask if they've installed the additional plugin. There's an additional plugin that allows SharePoint to search PDFs, where provided it's not a scan. If it was originally a digital document, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, for example, converted to PDF, if you install the plugin, and there's a couple of variations of it, uh, if you install one of the plugins, it can actually search inside the PDF documents like we've seen it do with Word and Excel. So that's our simple search. Now, I say simple, but you can do a lot with that. 
Uh, you can use your refiners, you can use your scopes, which we've used both of those. So I'm hoping at this point you've got a few clues as to how to use the simple search in SharePoint very effectively, and hopefully also a big clue about why you should get your files into SharePoint libraries and not just having them sitting on folders on the shared drives where it takes forever to find things. So thank you for your time. Hello, this is Stephen Knight. I hope you can use the material that you've just seen. I hope that we can help you solve a problem through it or that you are able to do something new that you haven't been able to do before. So where to from here? If you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you will be advised of any updates, any additional video tutorials that I put up. Now, I don't get to see your email address out of that, so it's perfectly uh, confidential YouTube look after all of that. Uh, if you visit my blog, which is at trainascope.com, uh, you'll see the address in the last slide in a moment. Uh, then you'll find other information there. Uh, again, uh, updates, but additional articles that aren't on the YouTube channel uh, also. I am available for training throughout Australia. Uh, if you'd like some training in the subject matter of this tutorial or other things, the Office Suite, SharePoint, Acrobat, Dreamweaver or Captivate, uh, please contact me through your firm's preferred uh, training provider. I work for all the leading training providers, uh, so please feel free to book me via your your HR department and their preferred training provider. Uh, also, uh, if you visit my blog, you'll also find a link to my LinkedIn profile. Uh, I'm always happy to get feedback from people through LinkedIn, so if you've got questions about the content, uh, things you want to ask me, uh, go, to my, go to my LinkedIn uh, profile and contact me through there. Just mention in the contact message what what the connection is that you've seen one of my training videos just so I know that who you are so uh, thank you for your time and I hope you've learned something from the content today <laughs>